Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Lyme disease. It's one of the most common things I see in my office due to my passion for helping people through this due to the fact that I had it five years ago. So what is Lyme disease? It is a bacterial infection that is called Borrelia burgdorferia. Lyme disease is one of the most commonly misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed infections out there. There's not a lot known about it and there's not a lot of ways to treat it in the Western medicine world. So it gets passed over and missed so often. So how do we identify if you have Lyme disease? Well, the bullseye rash is one of the most common ways that many doctors want to identify it, but that only happens on 40% of patients. So we have to have a better way. The blood testing is at best a positive if it comes positive, but not a negative if it's negative. Because the CDC test picked up on about 25,000 people last year, and the CDC even came out saying that it's more like 300,000 to a million were infected. So that test just isn't very good, and that's the Western blot test. So if you've had that and it came negative, that doesn't mean you don't have it. Lyme disease is more of a clinical diagnosis. So what does that mean? That means your doctor will have to talk to you about your symptoms and how you felt and possibly come up with that diagnosis through the symptomatology. So what are some symptoms that you may be wanting to look for? Well, Lyme disease is also called a great mimicker, so it gives off many, many different symptoms. Some of those symptoms can be headaches, fatigue. Those headaches can turn into migraines. I've had patients come in with their hands where they just couldn't open well. And if you look at some of the other videos on my Facebook page, you'll see some patients talking about that. They lost the ability to do their job because their hands didn't open well. Also, the heart symptoms can be where the heart slows and just pounds really, really hard. So some of these symptoms seem far apart because Lyme can create so many different symptoms due to the fact that it's an infection in your body. Some other infections that are correlated with it and the reason why there's so many symptoms are Bartonella, Babesia, many different worms like tapeworms, cestodes, and nematodes. So you've gotta be very aware of the different types of infections that can be inside you or that can be causing many of the symptoms that are just also not the bacteria. So that's part of the reason why patients will get the doxycycline treatment and not get completely better. So some ways that we like to work with patients is to go further than just talking about the bacteria. We like to talk about the different possible parasitic infections and we have to optimize your health to get your body strong enough to build itself back up so that you can get over this infection. So if you have some questions, just put them under this video and we'll go ahead and, and get back to you when that happens.